Chris Watkin back again with Matt Goddard, the sober person, Simon Whale. Thanks for joining me today. Um, Matt, Repit Foundations was launched in 2019 as the saviour of UK estate agency CRM systems. Where's it gone wrong? Talk to me. Well, firstly, I don't think it's gone wrong. What I will say is we have to take some responsibility for the way that we marketed it, the way that we launched it. Um, and, and the reason I say that is that we didn't communicate effectively at the time. And by we, I mean the team that was there at the time when, when the product was being launched to market. What we built, why we built it, and what it was there to, to achieve. And, and so taking those points, the reason that we built foundations was actually to look back on why Repit was a huge success in, a success initially. For someone that's not watching, what in in sentences that don't use the word solution mm -hmm. or any other bullshit prop tech bingo, what is Repit Foundations? So it's a platform that allows anybody to build solutions, <laughs> software, um, plug in apps to the to, to build uh, to to connect their different pieces of software and build new ones. Uh, and plug it into Repit. Correct. Because let's be honest, the only criticism of Repit is that it's expensive. Mm -hmm. It's a bloody good piece of kit, isn't it? it that's is. what, when I talk to agents, that's their only criticism, which I mean, you know, you're the Stellar Artois of The Rolls CRM. Royce, Stellar Artois, whichever okay. one you want to go with. Good stuff. So you, you, in 2019, you launched this thing called Platforms, which basically allowed other prop tech firms to plug in their fancy bit of prop tech, because you know, you can't obviously do everything, can you, as a CRM Correct. provider? Yes. Okay. So, it, so it's, it's really the, the bringing together, as you say, of those different prop techs. Um, but importantly, allowing anybody to do that as they wish. And what I mean by that is historically, Repit have done some very good integrations. I was talking to Christian Balshan the other week and, and when he brought Van Milder to the market, the Repit Van Milder integration was one of the best around. The same when Adobe came along and uh, integrated that free signature. They were very good integrations. The problem was that Repit had to build those um, and there's a bottleneck around development for Repit in the same way there is for any other yeah, business. Yeah, you're a business. You, can, uh, you know, if you're not careful, you'll have 700 agents prop tech solutions, every every script kiddie in, in North Finchley wanting to put is you can't be expected to pay for that, can you? No, and then do, having the resource available to do it. And then that was one of the big parts of the foundations was solving that challenge of being able to connect, and allow anybody to connect with the, the existing Repit CRM. Okay. But also, Repit was very successful because it customised the solution for, for its clients. So whether you wanted a... What does um, that mean? So if you take the out-the-box marketing screen and say that you want to have information available on there, not just for your long description, short description, various rooms, but when the photographer's going in, when the floor plans are being done, social media content, that would get built. But again, it would only be built by Repit's developers for those clients. And that was a, a bottleneck that, whilst it was initially a big USP and a, a, a selling point, became a, a, a challenge with clients saying, I want to do this, but... I have to sit in the queue with all the other development items. Foundations really took those two challenges and said, okay, anybody can now integrate and connect their solutions, but also, Mr. Agent, Mrs. Agent, you can now build your own screens and replace the existing Repeat screens with your own, very much like Salesforce allows you to do. So that it's, I've actually seen agents, a um, really good example, uh, the team up in Aberdeen, Constein in Scotland, they've built social media screens that open off the property record to show the interactions on Facebook or Instagram. So that is in the, their core CRM for their new negotiators, new values listers, they can open it up and see. They don't have to go off to different sections and different areas. And they can do that as they wish without ever speaking to Repeat if they don't want to because there's foundations that enables it for them. So why aren't more agents embracing this? Why aren't more people talking about you? It's, as I say, going back to the start, we, we marketed it badly to start with. We didn't explain the core principles of why we did it and therefore what it allowed agents to achieve. Okay, but if, you know, you've left Repit recently and set up your own business. Is that because you love the foundation so much, but it's probably you are being held back by Repit that you actually wanted to almost run ahead with it and, and take on board agents that want to really push the envelope? I'd, I wouldn't say I'm, a, I'm held back by Repit. I'd, I'd say what, what I've got is a real passion for product and people. I love being very close to businesses. When we did the Martian Parsons project, 
I used to take pride in the fact I beat Peter Rowland to the office in the morning and turned the lights on and brought the milk in because I wanted to understand how that business worked to the extent I could then put the software into it. And it's the same for, for building these products. I want to be able to understand how the, the company works, build the product, but only if the product's necessary based around um, what's needed. Um, and what Reaper has built is the property-specific version of Salesforce. Um, and what Salesforce has, you never speak to Salesforce. You buy the product, you won't go and knock on a Salesforce tower. You work with what they call a trailhead, and it's a community of developers and programmers and pro project managers. And I saw an opportunity to be the first in the foundation's equivalent of trailheads, to be the first person who could come, could come to me and say, Matt, Reap it's great, but I want a particular solution, a piece of software, a particular product that does this for my business, and I can help them build that. Fantastic. So basically, you're looking to get hold of uh, Repit users who want to really push the envelope on Repit, and you're the man to talk to. Correct. Well, I wish you luck on that one. Boys and girls, Matt's absolutely fantastic. As you say, he, what he doesn't know about Repit ain't worth knowing, and thank you for your time today. Thanks, Chris. Thank <laughs> you.